Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? It's Hookah Anonymous, and you are now rocking with Mickey Truth. She live up to her name, not the fame. So make sure y'all subscribe to her channel and stay updated on what's real. Bye. Coming from where I come from. They doubted me, but I came up. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. Coming from where I come from. They doubted me, but I came up. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. Good reporting as Mickey. We love you, Mickey. So what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, a.k.a. the queen of paperwork. And I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. All information used in this video is per the Fair Use Act. And any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it. According to the city of Miami, Spottam Gotham was uh, reported to have put his hands on the female. Yeah, I ain't tripping. I was like, "Put what? Y'all got to hear why. This report was done on September 30th, 2022, okay? And it says that a woman who says she travels twice a year to see Spottom Gotham was with them at the KOD, right? King of Diamonds, for those who don't know. And they went back to the house. Do y'all see where the story going? Well, according to the paperwork, it said he wanted a threesome with the woman and an unknown friend. OK, but the friend was not on the scene when the police came. And then it says the report stated that the woman was packing a bag. And as she was packing her bag, spot him, got him, began throwing items at her. Um, punching on the side of the head, throwing her stuff outside. I mean, for lack of a better term, throwing a tantrum. Like, I'm like, yo, over some cat? He must have really wanted that threesome. Nevertheless, now, further on in the incident report, it does state that the security of the building received a phone call from the next door neighbor stating it seemed that a verbal argument was happening in unit and then they redacted. As the security approached the floor, she observed PR charge at SR and witness one attempting to stop the physical altercation, which in turn, he sustained some scratches. Security further stated she was pushed out the way by PR as she charged at SB. Witness one stated that SR was trying to get PR to go home because she overstated, overextended the state and they had friends they met at KOD coming over. PR refused to leave, at which point SR decided he was leaving instead. PR then grabbed bleach and started pouring bleach out over SR belongings. Ooh, and shoes causing damage. Next, it says witness one told PR she can't do that in others' home and that she needs to leave. Witness stated that he was on the phone with police dispatchers as comments of a gun being involved were mentioned by PR. Witness one stated the phone recordings would prove that PR was creating a bigger scene than it was and everybody was calm except PR. The security also mentioned not witnessing a weapon involved. Subject of report wasn't on scene, but later returned to give his statement. He exited the premises because he thought the police action would ruin his reputation as a rapper. Spottom Gotham stated that he called for an Uber and a flight back home for PR because she had overextended her stay days ago. PR refused to leave and began pouring bleach of his belongings and slapping and pushing SR. SR then grabbed PR against him, at which point she hit her head against the chains and pendant, sustaining an injury and pushed her off of him. At this point, SR made the decision to leave, which PR didn't allow him to leave. PR has been visiting Spottom Gotham since 2019 and has had sexual encounters with, but doesn't have any more than that. So basically it's saying they didn't have a steady relationship. Domestic violence unit contacted and doesn't meet criteria for domestic violence crime. Case card given and directed to follow up with state if any further action is required. So at that point, this was the end of the report. I did verify this case has been closer. It didn't go no further than that. It sounds like a toxic situation but just the fact that it was all over a threesome i don't know y'all i don't condone any type of domestic violence or physical assault male or female 
But it sounded like they had it going on up in that apartment. I'm not even going to lie. They were like, yo, you holding up space. We got somebody that's willing to um, make a clap. But anyway, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to pull up on your girl, Mickey Truth. And definitely hit MickeyTruth.com and get you that merch because you know your girl stay with that work. And more to come on Spot and Got'em, including his body cam footage. So until next time, holla!